Gaza is being destroyed. War crimes are being committed before our very eyes. Terror, starvation, disease, torture, death and mutilation are raining down upon men, women and children. We are watching the Palestinians being ethnically cleansed. We are witnesses to genocide. All the world can see what is taking place and are demanding that it must stop, excepting a few Western governments, including our own government, the British government. How can they defend the indefensible? In what follows, I have attempted to answer this question and cast what light I can upon the crisis humanity is facing. To understand the nature of the crisis, we have to start at the beginning with the formation of Zionism, and then follow the trajectory of ten great disruptions which unfold as Zionism engaged with the world. The story of Zionism's great disruptions begins with another kind of Zionism. Christian Zionism Christian Zionism appeared in England in the latter part of the 17th century among certain Protestant sects. Their core belief was that the Jews had to return to the Promised Land before the second coming of Jesus Christ could take place. By the mid-19th century, Christian Zionism had become fashionable amongst influential members of the British aristocracy, including several prime ministers, and would go on to play an important role in the British government's support for a Jewish state in Palestine. Jewish Zionism Jewish Zionism, however, emerged out of the cauldron of ideas and ideologies that surfaced during the 19th century. It was a time when European philosophers were busy attempting to categorise humanity in terms of race and ethnicity, and the world was being defined by nation-states. The father of Zionism, Theodor Herzl, was a secular Jew who had turned his back on his religion. The traditional Jew lived in the Torah and was defined by the religion. Herzl recast the Jews as a race and ethnic group. In his manifesto, The Jewish State, published in 1896, he describes how the Jewish state could be placed anywhere. His choice was between Argentina and Palestine. He decided on Palestine as he felt that this would attract some religious Jews to his cause. However, with the choice of Palestine, another kind of Zionism came into being, which had a very different vision from that of Herzl's. The religious Zionists, by laying claim to the Promised Land, wanted to fulfil the work of the Messiah. Anti-Semitism but what was the magnet which drew Jews to Herzl's cause? It was anti-Semitism. The Jews in Christendom had suffered centuries of persecution and pogroms. The Jewish state would be a sanctuary where the Jew would be able to live in peace, bringing the benefits of the modern world to its neighbours and existing like any other European modern state. The Balfour Declaration In 1917, the British government, in what both Jewish and Christian Zionists imagined to be a marriage made in heaven, provided the Zionists with the Balfour Declaration, which gave legitimacy for the establishment of a Jewish state in Palestine. For Great Britain, this would provide an enclave in the heart of the Middle East, where they could protect the Suez Canal 
and the route to India and the East. From this declaration of support would unfold the series of disruptions leading to the global crisis we are now facing. First Disruption – Western Jury However, the first great rupture had already taken place within Western Jury itself. Religious Jews believed that the return to the Holy Land as a people could only happen with the coming of the Messiah. For Jews to create a modern state in the Holy Land was an abomination, and Zionism was condemned by the rabbis. Second Disruption – Western Christianity Christian Zionism was also declared heretical by all the main branches of Christianity. But after the Second World War, it would become a major force in America's support for the State of Israel. With the Holocaust, guilt and pity led to many Christian churches overriding their theological objections. The issue now divides the church. Third Disruption – Palestine The land of Palestine was a part of the Ottoman Empire and with Jerusalem at its heart an important focal point for the three Abrahamic religions. It was a beautiful land with fertile valleys, mountains, deserts, rivers and a coastline onto the Mediterranean Sea. The Palestinians were farmers fishermen, craftsmen and craftswomen, merchants, administrators and scholars. Bedouins with their flocks inhabited the deserts. They were Muslims, Christians and Jews. The Palestinians were an ancient people who were joined together through their deep attachment to the land and their sharing of the Arabic language and culture. With Jerusalem, they took care of the holy sites of the three religions and were host to the pilgrims that came from all over the world. The imposition of the State of Israel upon their land has meant the destruction of Palestine and its people. The Zionist occupation has resulted in a hundred years of conflict, oppression and suffering without end. Even the land itself is being destroyed. A traditional, sustainable way of life is being replaced by intense modern systems of agriculture and industry, which are leading to water depletion, poisoning of the soil and polluting of the air. Fourth Disruption – The Arab World The violent establishment of the State of Israel impacted the newly formed Arab states, as the Palestinian population was evicted from its homeland, thus destabilising the area. This has resulted in 75 years of instability, conflict and devastating wars. Fifth Disruption – Arab Jury Arab Jewry did not share the narrative of persecution of the Jews under Christendom. The Jews were fully integrated into the social fabric of their local Arab communities, whilst maintaining their religious practice and identity. With the establishment of the Zionist state, war broke out and the Arab Jews found themselves caught in the crossfire, reluctantly torn from their homes they were settled in the new state formed by European Jews who viewed their Arab brethren as inferior beings. This meant them having to shed their Arab identity and as a unique culture they have largely ceased to exist. Sixth Disruption – The Muslim World Jerusalem is the third holiest city in Islam. 
As the religious Zionists took over the helm of the Zionist project, their intention to take over all of Palestine, from the river to the sea, became clear. Their ambition to erect the third temple on the sacred precinct also became known. In the Palestinian resistance, this awoke a religious fervour to what had largely been a secular political cause and became a concern for all Muslims. Seventh disruption, the Zionists themselves. Zionists are trapped in a false narrative. Their story relates how Palestine was a land without people for a people without a land, and how the Zionists found the wilderness, and how they made the desert bloom. There was no such thing as Palestinians. These were just wandering Arabs that could be at home in any Arab country. The Arabs have always hated the Jews and want to destroy Israel. Israel has continually sought peace with the Arabs, but to no avail. Instead, their very existence is threatened by terrorism. For the religious Zionists, the story is simple. Palestine, with parts of Lebanon, Syria and Egypt, is the promised land, and the Jews, as the rightful owners, are fulfilling their destiny. As we have seen, Zionists have a problem. From the beginning, the Orthodox rabbis have condemned Zionism and its messianic claims. As Zionism flourished and its support in the West was consolidated, the Zionists marginalised the Orthodox by renaming them ultra-Orthodox. In other words, our lunatic fringe. But the tide is turning and critiques of Zionism are on the rise. Prominent Jewish historians and scholars are revealing the truth of what has taken place. And young Jews, brought up in the Zionist cult, are seeing through the narrative. Palestinians and the traditional Orthodox Jews are relating their narratives. And the Zionist narrative is beginning to fall apart. In an attempt to silence any opposition to their policies, they are trying to convince Western governments to pass laws that equate anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism. The disruption to the lives of those belonging to the Zionist cult is incalculable. Far from being a safe haven, the State of Israel has been a place of continuous strife and discord since its birth. Eighth Disruption – Christian Zionists Christian Zionists are also trapped in a false narrative, and their followers are imprisoned in an ideology that is causing tremendous suffering and perpetuating a terrible injustice. However, a revolt is taking place amongst many young members of this cult as they see through the narrative. Ninth Disruption – The West The Zionist state could not have come into being or have been sustained without the support of Great Britain, the Holocaust that took place in Germany and the power of America after World War II. Great Britain was the midwife that laid the foundations. The Holocaust ensured that the Zionist state would enjoy a special status, and America has imposed that special status upon the world. The deeply ingrained anti-Semitism of Europe and the West culminated in a horror of such evil and inhumanity that anti-Semitism was transformed into the cardinal sin, and support for a Jewish state an article of faith and act of atonement for the Holocaust. Israel was a special case to be defended by the West at all cost, and the Arabs, 
who opposed this new colony in their midst were the enemy. The Palestinians were either invisible or terrorists. With the establishment of the State of Israel, Zionism spread throughout the West and became embedded in the Western mindset. Books, films and journalism depicted the Israelis as the heroes and the Arabs as the villains in the unfolding tragedy of the Middle East. However, the West's vision of Zionism and the State of Israel has little to do with reality, and this loss of a true perspective is now threatening a global crisis. 10. Global Disruption The secular Zionists were responsible for establishing the State of Israel. However, by the 1970s, the religious Zionists were at the helm. They never had any intention of allowing a Palestinian state. Their mandate announced that the State of Israel existed from the river to the sea. They are now in the final process of completing their Zionist project. The West Bank has more than half a million armed settlers in fortified settlements who are busy with the support of the army terrorising and evicting the Palestinians. Gaza is being completely destroyed with the aim of making it uninhabitable, forcing the Palestinians into the Sinai Desert. And Al-Aqsa, the sacred precinct, is being controlled by the Israeli army for the increasing use of Israeli Jews and for the preparation of the building of the temple. The world is now divided. Those nations that were colonised or suffered under the Western empires and anyone not encased by the Zionist narrative can see quite clearly the ethnic cleansing and genocide taking place. But the Western governments remain under the spell of the Zionist illusion. We are being warned that the unremitting slaughter in Gaza witnessed by the world could spiral into a regional or even a global conflict. It is time the West woke up to what is actually happening. The Zionists are attempting to finally eliminate Palestine and its people for their realisation of a Jewish state from the river to the sea, crowned by the building of the temple in preparation for the advent of the Messiah, fully supported by the Christian Zionists who are deliriously anticipating the second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs>